Governor Daniel Malloy is about to give a briefing on the state's preparations ahead of this storm. He will be speaking at the Emergency Operations Center in Hartford. Let's go there live now with our chief political correspondent, Mark Davis. Mark? Hi, Keith and Ann. Good evening, everyone, from the Emergency Operations Center at the State Armory in Hartford. We are expecting the governor here shortly to uh, tell us what he's decided with regard to state employees tomorrow. Uh, the briefing will start in about 30 seconds. We do know that the State Department of Transportation has run through their entire snow removal budget of $30 million. Now, that's not a problem. They can find money elsewhere. Uh, but uh, they, 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 uh, they have spent everything they expected to spend, and now they're going to spend more. Here's the governor. And it was nice to come in on your conversation. Good, uh, good evening, everybody. It's uh, good to be with uh, all of you. Uh, I want to thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, we are getting prepared for our 12th winter storm of the year. Uh, our uh, weather uh, hit parade continues. Um, right now, we are expecting somewhere uh, between 8 and 14 inches across the state. The question that we have is over what period of time will that be delivered? Uh, to, uh, totals could be a bit higher in the northwest uh, hills and could be uh, lower along the coast. Um, that uh, forecast could change, and we are in direct contact with the National Weather uh, Service, and we'll continue to monitor the situation throughout uh, uh, the uh, pre-storm and storm. I, I want to uh, report that the Department of Transportation has all 632 trucks ready to go with uh, plows and ice, and roughly 200 contractors have been put on notice to be ready. Uh, our first responders and National Guard uh, are on standby and ready to uh, help uh, should that be necessary. I will tell you that uh, both uh, electric utilities report that all of their crews have returned from Pennsylvania where they were doing uh, assistance um, and uh, they will be fully staffed and ready to go tomorrow uh, should that be an issue. Um, I want to report that I have ordered State Emergency Operations Center to activate tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., and we expect to keep it uh, open throughout the storm. I am uh, uh, instituting a ban on tandem trucks. Uh, those are the double tractor trailer, um, uh, and that would be on primary and secondary roads effective 4 a.m. on Thursday, and that's coordinated activity with our neighboring states. Uh, based on the information we have right now, I'm going to delay the opening of state offices for non-essential state employees. That's terminology that I have to use because that's the definition uh, in the, uh, our publication. So non-essential employees delayed opening until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, we are going to, I will be convening uh, with uh, our weather uh, folks and others uh, early in the morning. Uh, if we make a determination that uh, offices will remain closed tomorrow, it would be our intention to make that uh, call as early as possible uh, in the 8 o'clock hour. Uh, and that's our, um, um, uh, our anticipation that uh, we'd be in a position to make a better call at that time. Then some people might say, well, why are we being less than clear? Uh, the reality is that this is an unusual storm with variables that, that are uh, quite significant, particularly with respect uh, to what areas uh, might potentially end up with rain or primarily rain or how slow the snow may fall and, and our ability to address that uh, as well. So uh, right now we're going to err uh, with respect to uh, 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 deciding on a permanent uh, situation tomorrow until tomorrow morning. Uh, that's our anticipation. If things change, we'll certainly give uh, folks a heads up on that. Can I take some questions? That, 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 that would mean that we would uh, either address you or share with the, your uh, TV stations and, uh, and other news outlets uh, that information as early as possible. Uh, we're reserving a, a, a little time to get a better look at, at, at the, this storm as it's taking uh, shape. When you came in, I was discussing the fact that the DOT has burned through the amount of money they had planned, uh, but they're just borrowing from, else, from, from, from elsewhere. There's no problem. There, there's no problem. Uh, uh, storm preparation and cleanup is always our highest priority, and uh, whatever amount of money that takes, we'll spend. It was unusual to spend $30 million at this point. Of yeah, it's unusual that we have had now at this point, uh, uh, relatively early in February, 12 storms to, to, to deal with. Uh, and that's true, I think, of both for the state government and a lot of our local uh, governments. Um, so uh, uh, I anticipate that, that many uh, layers of government will have uh, shortfalls with respect to their snow accounts. Most of us uh, estimate those numbers on, on uh, thir uh, you know, 10, 
10 to 20 year averages uh, uh, accommodating for changes in, in cost, uh, it is unusual to have this many occurrences. Yeah, I think w I, once we swing into full uh, activation, uh, so if you're talking about a statewide occurrence, uh, it, it is probably something approaching $100,000 an hour. And we also were told that Metro North has some kind of new snow removal on the third rail that they're using. Uh, they are. They're anticipating uh, right now about a 75 percent um, uh, uh, train traffic, uh, and, and I think they've adjusted to 75 percent in anticipation that a lot of people will not uh, need the rail system. Um, they, they tell us that they can re-up, they could, they could raise that, so they're not canceling trains. They just uh, anticipate that, that they'll, be run, they'll need to run fewer. Um, a couple of other things. Uh, up and down the uh, eastern sea uh, coast, uh, uh, and actually much of the United States, there, there's already 4,000 canceled flights. So anybody who's anticipating uh, traveling by uh, um, uh, air uh, really needs to check with their, uh, uh, with their company before they proceed to any airport, whether it's uh, Bradley or one of the New York or, for that matter, Logan. So uh, I, I'd urge everybody to uh, be in touch with their airline. All right, the governor speaking there live at the Emergency Operations Center saying the uh, state is prepared. Preparations now underway, but this is going to be a particularly tough storm because there are so many variable possibilities with this forecast. It's getting to be a broken record, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Twelve storms so far, yeah. and we're not even to March. All right.